What's up everybody, EMT Motor Rider here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Scorpion EXO R1 Air. Well, I have had the Scorpion EXO R1 Air for three weeks now, maybe a month at this point. And I uh, thought I'd do a video, give you my thoughts and everything on it so far. The helmet is amazing. By far the best helmet I have ever owned personally. In the past I have worn Icon Armada, HJC CL17, and then Scorpion EXO R420. And this helmet is by far the best helmet I have ever put on my head. And for me, this is the first, I guess, premium helmet that I've ever owned. I mean, it is the top of the line Scorpion. So, in my opinion, it is a premium helmet. So, it's the first top of the line helmet that I've ever owned. As I mentioned, I did have a Scorpion EXO R420. Now, that helmet I wore an extra large in. But it turns out I could have wore a large because I am able to get a uh, balaclava on under it and apparently you're not supposed to be able to get anything on under a helmet for a proper fit. So I went with the large in the EXO R1 Air and the fit is perfect. I mean it is spot on. I don't have any hot spots or anything like that. Now you do have the option of pumping the cheek pads up you know if your helmet is a little loose or maybe it does fit good but you want the cheek pads a little tighter I personally have never used the uh, pump because I like the way my helmet fits and I like the tightness as far as around my cheeks so I just kind of leave it like it is I can't really say much on the quietness of the helmet because I always wear earplugs but I have heard from other people that have this helmet that it is pretty quiet I personally don't think you can ever wear a helmet that will block out every single little sound because I mean you're on a motorcycle out in the wind you're gonna hear stuff you're gonna hear the wind you're gonna hear everything so I don't know about all that but I wear earplugs because I just choose to it's more comfortable for me so I can't speak on the quietness the comfort however I can speak on I have wore this helmet for probably a good solid three to four hours at a time and haven't had any issues whatsoever like I mentioned before I've never had any hot spots or anything like that and of course it's actually probably still breaking in since I've not had it that long but the more I wear it the more comfortable it gets now the particular helmet that I'm wearing is the EXO R1 Air in the Corpus model and I'm wearing the Phantom graphic and the pictures online they don't do this helmet justice whatsoever when I took it out of the box if you didn't see my unboxing video I will put a card right up here when I took it out of the box I was pleasantly surprised at how awesome and beautiful the helmet was in person the pictures do not do it justice this helmet is DOT and ECE certified so that is a plus but I mean you would expect that from a you know a helmet manufacturers top-of-the-line helmet you would expect it to have all that so that's really no surprise but thought I would at least throw that out there I also did finally set this helmet up for motor vlogging so I've got my Senna and microphones and camera and everything of course on this helmet and I was going to make a video on how to do all that but it was a little more complicated than I thought it would be so I actually did not film any of that but I can and will make a video about how everything is put in the helmet if you're interested just let me know down in the comments and I can do that the speaker pockets for your Senna or whatever Bluetooth communication device you use are actually pretty cool inside this helmet I know in the R420 I had to use the little sticky things where you stick inside and then velcro the speakers to that the speaker pockets inside of the r1 air have some sort of like locking design where you just kind of push the speaker in and they lock in there's no need for any kind of 
sticky things in there or velcro or anything like that they just kind of lock into the pocket so you don't have to worry about them coming out which i thought was pretty cool it's the first time i've ever seen anything like that inside of a helmet myself so i was surprised whenever i you know installed my Senna and all that and the way the helmet's designed i did have to use epoxy to fix the gopro mount to the front because it would not set flat enough to just stick on there and I didn't want to do that at first, but I really wanted to wear my new helmet, of course, and I want to do my filming and all that. So it was inevitable, I guess, that I actually put everything on this helmet. Anyway, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover as far as this helmet goes. If I miss anything or if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.